Welcome back to Farm Sim 22 with the Rude Man. We're back in Australia, no man's land, and we're getting to our second field. I've been working offline um, from the, I did a live stream on Sunday. Uh, probably nobody saw it. I didn't get anybody coming in during the live stream. It is uh, up on the YouTube page though, if you're interested in seeing it. And I did a little bit of work trying to get these fields done. I just decided to come in today and start working. So I've already seeded the field over there. And uh, we're going to finish up with this one and then race time a little bit and get my crops up. Okay, so I did... Um, wheat on the field over yonder to the left and I'm doing barley on this one I uh, wanted uh, as I said previously I wanted some straw in the storage for such time as I get animals or need straw for whatever reason so we'll get that done I gotta buy a combine today hopefully we'll be able to harvest today we'll see how it goes Hey Dennis, how you doing? Hope you're doing well today. As far as I know, you're the first one in. It's hard, it's hard to say because there could be somebody watching that's not chatting. So um, I don't know if there's any way to know. Now, the software I use does have a count of people watching. Really not very accurate. And you can't count on YouTube either. I've had times where YouTube said there's, there's uh, you know, two people on watching when I'm talking to four or five. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's not very accurate. Matt, how you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Appreciate it. Getting a little bit of lime covering the equipment there. What is that? Blue? It's supposed to be a blue piece of equipment. It looks white to me. <laughs> it's full of lime dust. Which it would be, as far as I know. <laughs> Glad to hear you're doing good, Matt. That's good. Uh oh, I overshot that one. Let's see if I can straighten it up here. Close enough for government work. I can't say that anymore. I worked for the gov government for a number of years, and I could easily say that that was close enough for government work, but this is farming, not government work. I don't think. Unless you're one of those farmers that takes government money to not farm, that would be gov doing government work. All right, I'm going to turn the machine off and go out this way so I can get a better stri straight shot at it when I come back in. Lower it again, turn the machine on, and off we go.
No big plans today, just to get some crop growing. I might, uh, I might put a corn dryer in because I want to do some. If I do corn, I want to dry it and sell it for for uh, cash money, for a cash crop. I got no other reason to to grow corn. It, you can't really feed it. To, I guess you could feed it to the pigs. Well, it used to be. I don't know what they do anymore. It used to be you had to mix your your grains and your you know to to mix um, cattle food. You used to have to mix uh, a ground crop like potatoes or sugar beets. Um, a protein crop like uh, uh, soybeans and then a grain and uh, you don't have to do that anymore in the old the old versions of the game you had to you had to mix your foods like that so that you could call it you know uh, an all-around food for for animals animal feed because it had everything in it it had your grains it had your uh, your root crop it had your um, protein in it. I don't, they, I don't think they do that anymore. Let's buy it that way, I guess. Hey, Jeremy. I don't know. I'm losing track of what they're doing in this game. Got my feet going. I got happy feet going today, so that's why I'm bobbing my head to the... Th to the sound my feet are making down below. I have one of those pads that uh, your chair sits on so it'll roll. Um, I want a glass one. Because they don't, the plastic ones, if, if, you're, if you're on them all the time, they crack after, after time and your wheels dig into them because it's plastic, it's soft. So if your wheels on your chair sit in the same place for day after day, um, they'll make a rut. And then you have a hard time getting your chair to move because it's stuck in a rut. <laughs> that's an old saying, I'm stuck in a rut. Um, I guess that's what that old saying meant. You're stuck in a rut. Uh, the glass ones, they don't bend. Uh, you know, they don't crack well unless you drop something heavy on them i suppose but i don't think it's a normal piece of glass it's not like a window glass that you put in and um they, they've they've got that kind they've got i don't know i suppose they got metal ones they've they've got wooden ones but i used to have a wooden one and it was the same thing over time it would bow from where the chair sits and the weight you know of it it did, the, did pretty much the same thing the plastic ones do, except for I think the wood ones were a little bit more expensive. Plastic, plastic ones are pretty cheap. You buy them and you roll them out. comes in a roll. You just roll it out. and uh, But they're just, they're not, I don't know. The best thing to do would be for me to, the, the, the studio right now has carpet in it. Best thing to do for me would be to tear the carpet up and put in wood, wood uh, floors. Because I've got wood floors in a lot of the house. About half the house is wood floor. Um, and that'd be the thing to do. I like the wood floors. There's only one problem with the wood floors. Is um, most people that have wood floors, they'll put, they'll put rugs down. You know, like Persian rugs or some kind of rug. But hey, when you get old, you trip on things. And, you know, I'm not saying I'm getting old. Um, but I, but I've tripped on things my whole life. I've, I've always been kind of clumsy when it comes to that. Uh, I, I can't tell you how many times I've fallen down and upstairs, yeah, even in my twenties and thirties. So I think it had to do with wearing glasses that, um, I would look down and I would, the glasses would be deceiving to me. If I looked straight down through the glasses, I think I would see the step. But if I was right in between not glasses and glasses with my eyes, it distorts what you're looking at. And I would think I was on the top step when I wasn't, and I'd step out or up either way. Hi, Andy. 
How's Andy doing today? Hope you're doing okay. Christina, hello, how are you? Good to have you here today. Everybody survived the eclipse yesterday. Um, I didn't. I don't live in an area that it uh, that you could see it. I did seven years ago, but not this year. But I do watch a, a farmer, and um, he was curious. I think he lived in uh, where's he live? Ohio. I think he's in Ohio. Actually, I watched two of them. Andy says he's fine. Good to hear. I watched two of them. One of them's in Vermont. And they wanted to they wanted to to find out what how how the animals that they have would react to the eclipse, and so they fixed everything up and they put cameras in their chicken house, they put cameras out where the animals were the the cattle, and the sheep, and that kind of stuff. They put cameras everywhere, and then they had other people there uh, that were going to actually. Uh, film the eclipse itself because they were busy working with their animals and th that was kind of interesting the chickens did did run into the coop but they didn't appear to be you know upset of any kind um, nothing nothing they didn't do anything strange they just went into the coop and that's all um, cattle didn't give a crap <laughs> they didn't care they just kind of moseyed around. So it was no big deal. And I watched a half a dozen people that actually watched the eclipse. I've never watched an eclipse. I've been in an area where you could see one, but uh, like where I live, it's always cloudy. You couldn't see it if you wanted to. All you could tell was that it was getting dark. And so I've never... I've never uh, paid attention to it as an event. I didn't stop what I was doing. You know, if I was working, I stayed at work. You know, I didn't, I didn't go outside and look at the thing. I've never done that. Scorpion, AVC good. Thank you, sir. I'm a little late to ask, I guess. <laughs> it got dark. I cowed and awed, cooed and awed. And then went back in the house. Yeah, uh, I was just going to say, the people that I watched, and I watched several um, YouTube channels that were in, in the area that they could observe it. Um, most of them were farmers because I was interested, like they were, into what the animals would do. And almost to a person... They said they got, they at first they were ooh and ah, and then they got s feeling solemn, like, like something, you know, profound just happened, and they were at a loss for words. That that feeling, you know, like, um, I'm, I'm trying not to get religious, but that was the feeling that they that they kind of had, as they were expressing how they felt. That would be how you felt, like if it was a profound uh, spiritual feeling, a, a feeling of calm, of beauty. That's how they were feeling. And I, and I, I didn't think that was unusual. Um, I just thought it was kind of uh, coincidental that they all, you know, expressed it the same way. Different, different channels, I mean, different people in different areas. Like I said, one was in Vermont. A couple of them were in Ohio and, and uh, you know, the Bible Belt. Scorpion said he got a headache, felt weird. But that was it. The NASA mix from Texas and Mexico. Andy, Andy, Andy's not from America. He doesn't know. <laughs> people now, people now don't trust NASA because they think they faked the uh, 
the moon landing. And so now, according to most Americans, NASA fakes everything. So <laughs> we just laugh at NASA now. But I, I don't. I don't. I still, I still believe that they landed on the moon. So, uh, but then I still believe the world is round. So I'm weird, I guess. Scorpion said he got a headache. You didn't actually look at it, did you? You know, without glasses? Well, without sunglasses? The eclipse was all fake. That's what I figured. So, as I was saying when I first came on, uh, some of you came in a little bit later. Um, I came in today, this morning, and I seeded that field yonder. Uh, and I started seeding this one. I didn't record it. I came on Sunday and did a live stream, but nobody was there. I only had about four people the whole time I was on. And so I thought, what the heck? Why am I even bothering? I'll just, if I want to come in and farm, I'll just come in and farm. So I came in before, and um, because I want to get the crop done, I want to get into harvest today. And I didn't want to take the whole live stream seeding the two fields. So I came in and just started seeding this morning. And then just waited till one o'clock. So if you watch the video from the very start, it starts right off me halfway through this field. So there you go. So we're going to get done for too long and then I'm going to speed time up and we'll do, I did um, wheat on that one over there and barley on this one. As I said, I was going to, um, because I want to, I want to stock up on some straw in case or in case or at such time as I get animals, if I do. That's the only thing I need straw for. You know. Special glass just kind of made me feel weird. When the eclipse happened last year, the effect were higher for some reason. Huh. I, I don't know, because I've never... I've never participated in any of these events like this kind of thing again there were in most most of the time there's no reason to because i live in an area that's cloudy all the time so you can never see anything so it was no big deal the few times that i would have been able to experience it i didn't really care so i i never have and well, one of the reasons is, if I'm that interested, I'll just watch somebody else that, that filmed it on TV. You know, why do I have to actually see it myself and risk, you know, ruining my eyeballs? There were people out there doing the things that you do, they tell you to do. Like one guy had a colander. They tell you to go out with a colander and hold it, you know, so that it's facing the sun and then you can see the uh, uh, the little holes in the colander on the ground. You can see the shadow that it's be that's being created, and you'll see that it's a crescent moon type instead of a full, you know, a full solid light dot. You'd think that sun coming through a, a something with a dot in it, it would have a round white thing on the ground. Well, this is not. It's it's a crescent, so. That's kind of weird. It, it did look kind of weird, but I don't know what the hell that means, but that's what they were told to do. Little things you can do during the, an eclipse. Oh, 
You sure can tell it's April here where I live. You know that old saying, April showers? God, it's been raining and it hasn't stopped since the 1st of April. I checked the uh, weather for the next seven days and um, solid rain all the way through. Um, and they try to they try to fool you a little bit. Normally, you know, if, if it's going to rain, I say, okay, Tuesday it's rain, Wednesday it rain, Thursday rain, Friday rain, Saturday rain. No, they don't do that. It's Saturday, a chance of rain. Uh, Thursday, cloudy with a chance of rain. You know, Friday, cloudy and rain. And so they keep changing it. Every day is different, but the bottom line is rain. <laughs> they, I guess they, they need to try to make it sound like they're giving you a, a real forecast, I guess. It's, it's partially sunny, okay. Then the next day is partially rainy or cloudy. Okay, what's the difference between partial cloud and partial rain, uh, sun? It's the same thing. You've got clouds. And sometimes the sun's going to come through, and sometimes it's not. Doesn't. I, I don't know. I guess they have to kind of prove that they've got some kind of a college education on, on meteorology stuff. Hear about the doctor that died falling out of their trailer traveling to the eclipse. What the heck were they in the... What, are you kidding? That's real? That reminds me back in the day when um, when cruise control was just coming out and it wasn't very uh, widespread that automobiles had it and some idiot in a motorhome had bought a motorhome with cruise control on it and he set the cruise control, got up from the driver's seat, went in the back to make a cup of coffee. What the hell did he think cruise control did? Crazy. One of those small Airstream travel trailers? Well, yeah. I mean, Michigan Jerry's in the house. Um, an Airstream. You couldn't even get on the roof because it's curved. Was he setting up on the roof in a, in a folding chair while somebody's driving or Stupid. America's going to hell in a handbasket. Have you seen that uh, New York has a law uh, that it's it's legal to squat in people's property in their homes? There was a news thing I saw. <clears throat> this woman had two uh, illegals actually break into her house. They busted the door to get in. And we're, we're, you know, going to squat there, going to live there, you know, for a place to sleep and stuff. When the police arrived, they arrested the homeowner because there's a squatter's law that she broke some kind of a squatter's law. They were, they were legally able to come in and squat in your property if they need a place to live or something. It's just the craziest thing. Here's the thing. She now has to go to court for eight days or something. She has to pay for lawyers. They took her to jail. And when she finally gets back into her home, they'll either have stolen everything out of the house that they could get their hands on or destroyed it. Now, the whole opposite of that is in Florida. They just passed a law in Florida that you have somebody... On your property, you call the cops, they're arrested and thrown in jail that very minute. So that's the difference, man. <clears throat> the one thing that I've been worried about um, lately, well, since I've been retired, is am I going to be able to make it to the end of my time on what I set aside for retirement, the house being paid for, I've got, I own property, you know, am I going to be okay? 
And the one thing I was worried about is some stupid government thing where they decide that people that work their whole life don't deserve what they've earned and people that haven't had the opportunity to be able to work and and save money and buy a house, that, that we're going to take property from you because you worked your ass off and bought all this stuff, but you don't deserve it. You should be sharing that. So the government's going to come in and take your property and split it up into people that don't that didn't have the opportunity to to be in that state. And I've been worried about that, the way some of this stuff's been going. <clears throat> I've been waiting for when the government decides that that people that have earned stuff don't deserve it and should be sharing that. And and so I might lose my property uh and have to share it with I don't know who, but and I've worried about that. And the closer we get, not now this squatter law in New York, what what's it that's basically people can come on your property squat and, and say that that's you know that they have every right to be there and live there. Ah huh? wow. I'd be moving out of New York so damn fast. Um some of the laws that they're passing are, and California too, some of the laws they're passing are driving businesses out of the states. They're driving businesses out of business. Driving in the bo the door opened. Okay. I don't, I don't understand what the hell, what, what how could that happen? D did he not have a seatbelt on or? Wh I don't get it. What was he doing? And are we supposed to feel sorry for somebody like that? <laughs> that's that's the other thing. I mean. Okay, okay, somebody lost their life. I feel bad about that. But I can't hardly feel sorry for somebody that's that dumb if they do. That's kind of like the, um, what's that What's that thing? I watch it all the time, the Darwin Awards. The Darwin Awards, you know, it's the uh, people that die of really stupid things. They give them a Darwin Award. Jerry, what's up, bud? You're in Michigan. Is Michigan one of the uh, states that were able to see the eclipse? I know, I know people in Ohio I watched and people in Vermont. I'm um, not real good at geography. <laughs> I'd have to look at a map to see where Michigan's at. Uh, at Michigan, let's see. That's up by the Great Great Lakes, isn't it? Aren't you guys right on a Great Lakes? Uh, Superior? Is it Superior? Or is that or am I thinking of Illinois? I might be thinking of Illinois. Yeah, um the <laughs> Don't hate me, but when I was in school, I could care less what happened in the next county, much less the next state, or or another country even. I I didn't like um, geography at all, and you know I could care less what was happening in Europe, and you know I, I just worried about whether I was going to get a peanut butter jelly sandwich for lunch today or not. So I didn't do well in school when it came to geography. I still don't. I don't I don't know where Iraq and Iran, what's the difference? And I don't know where they're at. Wisconsin's the one. Okay.
Illinois with uh, Lake Michigan. I knew Illinois was on one of the Great Lakes. Uh, and the only reason I know that is because when I was doing um, Flight Simulator and I flew into Chicago, I had to fly over one of the Great Lakes to get to Chicago or to get from Chicago. I can't remember, but uh, and I couldn't remember which one it was. So it's Michigan. They have superior cheese as well in Wisconsin. <laughs> you know what my favorite cheese is? I mean, I eat a lot of cheddar. If I was going by volume of cheese that I eat, cheddar would be the one I like the most. But it, but it isn't. Um, it's uh, um, pepper jack. that I like. And I don't and I don't eat no linguine cheese or whatever it is. What's that what's that stanky cheese? That stanky uh Limburger. Michigan is a state in the Great Lakes region of the upper Midwestern United States. Matthew, you sound like Google. You wanna know one of my pet peeves nowadays? You love provolone and pepper jack. I like pepper jack. Um, I couldn't tell you what provolone tastes like. I, I'm, I know I've had provolone cheese. But I'm not a real big cheese eater. Um, I eat cheese when it's mixed in food or put on food, like a cheeseburger type thing. But I don't just sit and eat cheese and sip wine, that kind of stuff. So I, I really couldn't tell you whether I like provolone or not. I know I've had it on sandwiches and stuff, but... Anyway, wh one of the things that recently is, is turned into a pet peeve of mine, and it's starting to bother me, is... Um, and and let, me, let me just put it out there and ask you guys if you've noticed this. So... You thumb through YouTube looking for a video to watch. And you find one that's got a really nice thumbnail. And so you decide that the title of the film looks interesting. And, um, and the thumbnail looks good. And so you take a chance. I don't know who these people are, but let me just watch the video. And you find out that the whole video is AI. It's not a real person talking. It's AI. And they repeat these profound uh, sentences, you know, like, you know, uh, and this tragedy is a, is a testament to such and such. It, they use that testament or, um, you know, another word that they use a lot they use over and over and over and it's obvious after a while that it's ai because then they start mispronouncing words and uh, you know american words can be mispronounced very easily a lot of them can so um especially words that have more than one meaning like write you know i'm i'm writing a letter i'm on the right I'm, I'm correct in how I feel, so I'm right. So there's a word that means three, at least three or more different things and is spelled differently uh, depending on which way you're using it, but it's pronounced the same. And so you'll get this AI um, talk and you know it's AI because they're mispronouncing common words uh, and especially names and things like that. And it's almost always a video that could be like maybe five minutes and it goes on for 30 minutes and they keep repeating the same things with different words and profound you know intelligent type talk that actually doesn't sound intelligent and and you you realize that the thing was not only written by an ai it's also uh voiced by an ai and then the reason why the thumbnail looks so damn good is because it's AI too. So the, they've got a 
picture, let's say it's on Abraham Lincoln, and they showed this thumbnail of Abraham Lincoln, and it looks like it's 3D. I mean, you know, it's so well done. It's like it's a it's like it's a uh, a painting done in 3D. It looks so good, and it and it's it's AI. So the whole damn thing was AI, and I'm noticing more and more and more of those. I'm getting to the point where anytime I w watch anything that has to do with a celebrity or something like that, they're almost all AI now. All they do is go into AI and say, write me a uh, 30-minute video on, uh, on uh, Boris Karloff. And Bob's your uncle. AI writes it. You put it up, and you're raking in money from YouTube. It's pissing me off as a creator that nobody's creative anymore. But anyway, um, I can't say anything. Nobody's watching me. Are you watching the AI right now? I don't know. Have I ever blinked? Have I blinked recently? Probably not. <laughs> All right, I got my crops done. Let's wash this thing up. Get it clean. And nice and shiny. And um, I need to buy combine. And I need to choose one. Let me get this out of the way here. Uh, anyway, my my initial question is: Anybody else notice that, or 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 do you act? Does anybody of you guys actually go through and look for something to watch on uh, YouTube that you're not subscribed to? If you guys remember when I quit on uh, Sunday, excuse me, I. Uh, I was moving grass, and so I'm back to that. This is a full load of grass, and it, it it's not going to take it. But I'm going to try to to uh, I'm going to fill up this um, silage machine here. That's where I left off on Sunday. For anybody that watched it, Maybe that's what I should do is uh, just start making AI videos and put them up so I don't have to work so damn hard. <laughs> Jerry doesn't know. Well, you didn't get it from YouTube because YouTube doesn't support me anymore. They haven't for a couple of years now. Um, so there's only one way to find my page and that that is if you accidentally uh, click on it. You know, if it just, because it used to be back in the day, um, if somebody watched a video on Farm Sim, it would say, if you've enjoyed this, try this one and it would be my page. So they would recommend, you know, my page as another page to look at if you want to see farming videos. They haven't done that for a long time. So I've got no support from YouTube. And so... Um, there's no way to find this my my videos unless you unless you type my name in or accidentally find it online jerry's barbecue and give me a hot dog will you jerry i want some sauerkraut on it <coughs> all right so obviously it didn't take all my grass what do I got in grass? I still, I still have over two million in grass. That's funny. I tell you what. All right, so I'm gonna go in, find myself a combine. Let's do that. I want one that's got a big capacity. So the Reaper. What can we do with the Reaper? Okay, so there. That's a million five hundred. So it goes up to a, a million and a half. That's pretty good. It's very realistic, don't you think? 
Let's see if I've got if I've got one that does bigger than that. One of the one of the classes I think did did a, uh, a large amount. No, that's only fifty thousand. That one's a hundred thousand. Maybe not. Maybe not fifty thousand. I I don't think any of mine do. Um, that that's one of my mods. I don't think I ever had my mods get that big. Um, and I don't think that John Deere's do either. They tend to make the John Deere's more accurate to uh, real life because John Deere's are special. Oh my God, you couldn't mod a John Deere to do anything more. They're so they're so wonderful just as they are. You couldn't improve on them. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. So okay, let's go with this um, Reaper. A Reaper. Let's do a capacity of. Um, the unreal capacity of, is that a, a million and a half? There's, <clears throat> there's a thousand, there's 10,000, there's, there's uh, 500,000 and a million. So that's the one. We'll do that one. Let's put a bigger engine in it since it's going to haul all that. I like, I like big fat tires and I cannot lie. So we'll do a Michelin wide. Crawler? No, I don't like crawler tractors. I like them big, big balloon tires. I'm going to take those. I don't need a number at this point. I can always put one on later. Uh, unit number decals, number decal color, brand lizard. No, let's do... Um, I don't know. I want to do something different. I always do uh, Massey Ferguson for some reason. Um, it am I wrong? Is that pronounced grim? I've always I've always pronounced it grim. Is it grimy or grime? I've always pronounced it grim. I think I'm gonna stick with that. With grim. Let's do a challenger. Why not? White strobes, light bar, pink and purple, uh, purple, pink, good lord, <laughs> green and white, green, blue and white. Uh, we'll go with blue and white for a change. I don't care about the windows. Uh, body decals. Uh, I'm going to put a um, whatever the hell that guy is. Some kind of ghost. Do that one. GPS, yes. Um, rear trim panel. Well, uh, I did Challenger, and that's a yellowish. So I can't. My colors are all off with these glasses. Let me look. What's that one? Uh, construction yellow. What's, what? What? Construction yellow. Wouldn't that be piss in the snow? Big Bud 5. Uh, I can't. I can't see what that is. Metallic yellow. Metallic John Deere. Metallic Challenger. Let's try that one. What the hell does that look? That looks gold. That doesn't look yellow. Golden black. Oh, well, I'll try it. We'll, we'll let it go with that. I can always repaint it later. All right, let's buy that. I'll buy that for a dollar. Scorpion says he's stuck with the Reaper. All right, now we're going to need headers. So uh, I'm only doing grain, so I only need a grain header right at the moment. And let's see what we have. Uh, I kind of like I kind of like this one. Um, so I'm going to stick with it. So we'll look at that, and I don't think it's got Challenger. It doesn't. 
It doesn't. But the New Holland is yellow, so we'll keep that. We'll do New Holland. Why not? Okay. Now, we got to go home. They say you can't ever go home, but we're going home. And uh, I'm moving very slow. Why am I moving so slow? All right, we need to sleep our life away to get the crops to grow. So... Let's run in here and sleep our lives away. What'd I miss in the chat? Chat's pretty slow today. You guys ain't got nothing to say, huh? Anyone see the trailer for the new production DLC coming at the end of April? I haven't. Jerry says he likes black. Um, well, it was black. Whoa, am I, am, have I got flight on? I do. That was weird. All right, let's see. Uh, wheat. Fertilizer, only 31% fertilized. That's odd. It should be 50% fertilized. Only 32%? Have you seen that before, Scorp, that it did that? That should be that should be fifty percent. I did a whole uh, fertilization there. That's weird. Now I got to fertilize. Okay. That's that's not right. Where's my spreader? There it is. I can see it from here. It's over by the mower. Okay. We'll go grab the spreader. No wonder chat is slow. No, I, I know, I know, Jerry, I know, I know. That's why I keep telling people my channel's dying. I, I should just retire. God, I'm 70. I'll be 71 in a couple months. Why am I still doing this? I, I reached my goal. My, my starting goal was to get 5,000 people because that's how many, that, that was the population of, my, of the town I live in. And that was my goal, to get 5,000 people so that I could say that everybody in my town watched my videos, which they don't. I'm just, you know, dreaming. And I reached that a couple years ago. Or a year ago. I can't remember when it was. Uh, had to be almost two years ago. And I haven't grown since. So I don't know why I'm still doing this. That's why people ask me why I stopped making videos. Why Why are you not making um, um, Baldur Gate videos? Because that's what I was doing when I when I stopped making videos. I was doing Baldur's Gate. I said, because it, it takes me days to do a video. It's a lot of work. Um, to, to, do a, to get a video ready takes me a, a couple days. And I had... 10 people watching that it wasn't worth my time so you know why am I even bothering kind of if you know what I mean and I'm not bitching I've had a good run at it and I've had fun doing it I'm having fun right now even though nobody's watching me I had fun on Sunday when I only had four people watching All right, let's um, let's take a look here. What are we doing? Turn that on. Turn that on. Um, we need to select. You know, I don't know if if this is like that other mod because I'm not doing lime. So let me let me change this to uh, rock salt. No. Solid fertilizer. Okay, so we're going to do... Let me see if I can... Uh, one, of the, one of the spreaders that I was using, if you did lime, it was uh, 
it was this wide. If you if you did fertilizer, it was that wide. And the game knew it. I don't know. If you put lime in it, it only went that wide. If you if you took the lime out and put fertilizer in, it now went that wide. I don't know if this one does that, so let's find out. I'm going to go in to the setup and we're going to we're going to do um an auto width. It didn't seem to change, did it? Didn't seem to change. So maybe this one isn't that sort. Dennis is back. Hi, Dennis. Dennis was the first one in today, uh, but he came in on his Twitch account. Thank you, Dennis. Okay, so um, this is set up. Let's uh, let's see. Well, is it, which way should I go? All right, I'm gonna go lengthways because it's less turns. So let's flip this thing around and go this way. All right, flip it, flip it good. Flippity jigger, no, what was it? Flip it, flippity. I can't remember. Flippity gibbet. Used to be a phrase, flippity gibbet, something like that. All right, that's close enough. So let's just go. Flippity gibbet. Find. Oh, I thought I turned it off. Turn it off. Stop. Okay. Let's turn it back on. Oh, wait a minute. I got to go clear back to the end, don't I? It's not the it's not the white line I need to be on. It's the one over whoop the other way. Oh crud. <laughs> okay. Might as well go forward. Holy crap a doo doo doo. Okay. <clears throat> I got it. I got it. I ain't got it. Here we go. <clears throat> flippity biscuit. It would have to be flippity biscuit and gravy to get me interested. <laughs> uh. Yeah, when it when it comes to views and stuff on my channel, I used to say if if even one person wanted to watch my uh my videos, I'd still do them. But I'm just fooling myself at this point. And um at at my age, time is a little bit more important than it used to be. And it shouldn't be. Time should be as important to you it should be a constant. Time should be important. But the older you get, it seems like it becomes more important because it was it was like a guy that came in and did uh, um, one of these things that, that they come in and they, they try to, to get people jacked up about their jobs and stuff, you know. Um, and his stick was to take a bowl, fill it with, uh, 70 marbles because the average length of life back at one point was 70 years old. So you would take 70 marbles and put them in a bowl. And if you were 30 years old at the time you watched this guy's 
uh, shtick. He was a, uh, one of these speakers that came in to, I can't think of the name of him, uh, to try to get everybody jazzed up and productive and stuff. So if you're 30 years old, okay, take 30 marbles out. Now every year, take a marble out. And and pretty soon you're going to realize you've only got a couple marbles left and you need to, if you've got something you need want to do, you better get on it. That sounded depressing to me. That did not pump me up. It didn't motivate me. Motivational speaker, that's what I was trying to think of. That didn't motivate me in any respect. It, each year, if I had to take another marble out, I'd look and say, oh, my God, I'm running out of marbles. <laughs> I'm almost dead. That that didn't motivate me. So the guy's program didn't work on me. Just, all it did was scare the hell out of me. And now I'm out of marbles because I'm, I'm, I'm 70. I'll be 71 this year. So my last marble went last year. Uh, I'm out of marbles. I've lost my marbles. So... What do I do now? It motivates you to want to play marbles? <laughs> I hadn't thought about that. Because I... That motivational speaker came around when I was in my 30s to, uh, to the company we worked for. I was working for GE at the time, General Electric. And uh, so, yeah, it was... Um, I hadn't thought about it since then, but I just thought about it. I'm 71 in two months. You see, April, May, June. Yeah, I'm, in two months, I'm, I'm 71. I've lost all my marbles. <laughs> oh... How appropriate is that? And how prophetic it is. I have lost all my marbles. I'm still, doing, I'm still doing this. But nobody's watching. Isn't that the... Uh, isn't that the definition of being insane? Doing the same thing over and over and over and, and expecting a different result? That's a little bit different. Except for if the result I'm looking for is more subscribers... And I'm not getting them, and I keep doing this over and over and over, and nothing's changing. That's the definition of insanity. I owe the bull. Yeah, I owe the bull to Marvel. I just broke the bull. So, anyway... Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not I'm not complaining. Um, I got you guys, uh, and I appreciate that. So it's not like I'm not. It's it's just I'm. If anything, I'm maybe just a little disappointed. You know, I thought I, I thought I was doing a pretty good job, and and that I would just keep getting subscribers, and then they stopped. Part of it is you YouTube because they don't promote me anymore. You know, I'm, I've been shadow banned for years now. It's my own fault. I got a big mouth. I say things I probably that they probably don't like and <laughs> All right, let's see what that did. Did that give me a better Fertilizing rate, it's still 30%. What? Did it not take my... Did it? Did that not work? Oh, that's just weird. What's the other field doing? Is there something wrong with this map? Why is it only... That's, that's a third. You're supposed to only have to do two... Uh, Two fertilizations. This is saying I have to do three. That's not right. Maybe it's the map. Maybe this map is messed up. Um, maybe Australian land needs more fertilizer or something. Dennis says don't panic. Dennis is here. Hey, Dennis. Did I see Dennis come in? I miss Dennis. 
I really did miss Dennis, I guess. He snuck in when I wasn't looking. I was yelling at somebody in the backyard, and he snuck in the front yard. All right, let's see if we can get another stage of growth and try that again. I just wasted all that fertilizer. Hey, nobody told me it was soup du jour. <laughs> it's soup du jour, and I didn't know it. Oh! Can't get my fridge closed. All righty. So, we're looking for something sparkly today. So, that looks pretty sparkly right there. I want Mine doesn't do that. Hey, mine don't look like that. Put it in the magic, in the magic container. Auto load. Pop the top. Dennis said he is now joined. Well, did Dennis ever get a... A tractor. Dennis, did you get a new tractor? Usually, if somebody joins, I, I give them a new tra tractor. Let's see if this works. There you go, Dennis. New tractor. Oh, and I've got it hidden. Turn that off. There's your new tractor. Did that work? Or was that silly uh, Mountain Dew can in the way? Woohoo. Okay, let's go see if we got a second uh, growth stage. Tim bought all the tractors. He he was buying them up, wasn't he? Well, you know, for, for all that I say it's the best tractor I got, it probably doesn't last very long. It probably wears down pretty fast. So, you know, and and Tim's a hard a hard worker. He probably wore them out. Um, did that change? Is this a new stage of growth? It looks the same to me. I'm going to sleep another night. Um, once you once you do any kind of fertilization or anything, you have to wait for the uh, growth stage to change before you can do it again. So let's see. Dennis wants to buy a new John Deere for his employee, but he doesn't know. In real life, yeah, I figured it was in real life. Why don't you, um, why don't you, I don't know, buy one for yourself and see if he would. Uh, what, what, why, why are you not sure about buying one? Okay, does that look like a different stage of growth? I guess the only way to test it would be to get in and throw some fertilizer down and see if it changes it. Let's do that. Uh, did I turn the GPS off? Did I? Did I? I don't know if I did. No, I didn't. Okay. Okay. All right, let's throw some fertilizer down. And see if that changes. It's not changing. What? That is weird. Scorpion, have you been checking your fertilization? Is this is this what it does now? It don't work. Is it broken? It's it's broken. You could buy a slightly weaker and cheaper tractor. But I'm John Deere lover. You're a John Deere lover? Well, um, 
Well, they're fine tractors. Um, they're they're fine tractors. I I don't have a beef against John Deere, except for they're too. In my opinion, they're too expensive, and in my opinion, um, they're they're overrated. Now, are they overrated uh, compared to other tractors, or is it just overrated because I don't like fanboys? So, it could be that. What I mean by fanboys is, you know, I like certain things, but if somebody comes in and and says, okay, if you should change to this brand because this brand has this and this and this and is better, okay, fine. Um, okay, then they are better. Maybe I will change. But doesn't mean I still don't like the first brand that I liked. It's just that this one's a better product, and I'm I want the better product. Uh, a fanboy will stick with their product, even if it was the worst product on the market, just because they're fans of it. Yeah, I'm not that way. I'm no fanboy when it comes like that. I like what I like, and but I'm open to you know reality. And if somebody shows me that there's something better, don't don't skip the next day yet. Okay, and what? Mountain Dew. Mm. Man, that's cold. Cold and so, so refreshing. So, getting back to the fanboy thing. Go to the big map. Okay, I'll go to the big map. Go to the big map. Big map. Here's a big map. All right. I'm on the big map. Now what? So anyway, um, getting back to the fanboy thing, what, I guess to make my point and or to explain my point, let's say we're talking about John Deere. I have John Deere tractors, and I like John Deere tractors. And somebody comes and says, "Okay, there's a Case tractor that's brand new. It's out there, and it's so much better. And this is how it's better." And so a, a normal person would say, "Oh boy, it really is a lot better." And I'll look at them. And so you go and look at them, and you find out that the case tractor is better, but it's ha- it's twice the price. And you're and maybe that's not in your market, okay? So we go back to the John Deere and and say, well, are you going to get the case tractor because it's better than the John Deere? No, I'm gonna stick with John Deere because for one, um, I actually like John Deeres. I'm used to them, uh, and. All, all my spare parts and all my tools are set up for John Deere, and the uh, the international is out of my uh, budget. So, so I think I'm just going to stick with John Deere. Now, a fanboy won't ever admit that there's something better than the John Deere. It's impossible. I don't even want to hear you talking about that. I hate you. We're not friends anymore because you don't like John Deere. That's a fanboy, and I don't go. I don't go for fanboys. <laughs> If you're a fanboy, I'm sorry, Dennis. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. People that just don't see reality, you know, and won't admit that they're wrong or that anything could be, you know, better. And and everybody knows somebody like that, I think. But anyway, Scorpion, why am I looking at the big map? Fence a, fence a fine tractor. People used to ask me about, in the game, why do you always use certain kind of tractors? And I said, because I like them. And, um, and they would say, well, why don't you buy this tractor? And I would say, because of the job that I want it to do. For example, in the, in the orchards, we chose Massey Ferguson tractors 
for the orchards because Massey Ferguson tractors were were they were lower to the ground, and they were a good enough width to go between the trees without having any trouble. And they were a good tractor, so we used Massey Ferguson's in the orchards. On the farmland, we used Case Internationals, you know, or something like that. Back then, John Deere's weren't, a, you know, that big a deal yet. They became a big deal. But I'm talking back in the day when I was younger. Um, and the fact that you couldn't afford John Deere's. But um, we used a tractor for the job. We didn't use a tractor because we were fanboys of the tractor. So if it was... If it was orchard work, we did Massey Ferguson. It was the best thing for the job. Uh, now they've got Kubotas. They've got other small tractors, and so there's more of a choice than there used to be. But we chose the tractor for the job it was doing, not for, not for you know whether it was you know famous or whatever. You got five John Deere in a tractor garage. That's a lot of green. <laughs> no, John Deere's are good tractors. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. I don't mean to to uh, to say that John Deere's suck. <laughs> they don't. They're fair. They're damn good tractors. It's just that um, again, I would choose a tractor for the job it did, and the price that I could afford to pay. Okay, I don't know what to do. Do I just give up on the fertilizing? A lot of green. A lot of green. Um, but you, you could start your employee off small. Start off small. Get a lawn tractor. Buy him a John Deere lawn tractor. See how he does. You know what bothered me about that? Now, I have... Um, I, my, my lawn tractor is a um, um, Sears and Roebuck. And um, craftsman, craftsman, and but and, and it has the same that the John Deere does. It's got you know it's got an, uh, a a cup holder a, for a, a can of beer or something. Stupidest thing I've ever seen. And I asked people that they'd come over and say, "Oh my god, oh my god, oh that's so cool! Your your lawn tractor has a has a, a can holder for a beer or a pop." Wow, that's really neat. And I said, have you, how, I said, I've never used it. You never used it? Why not? Well, I can show you. I'm getting ready to mow the lawn. Stay here. Give me a moment. And I went and got a pop and I put it in. I didn't open it. I just set it in the, in the thing. And I mowed two or three rounds on the lawn and I drove back up where the guy was sitting at the deck. I said, okay, want to know why I don't use the, the, can holder yeah i said come here he came over and i said look at the pop can pop can had about that much dirt on the top of it and all around it and grass and dirt and crap i said had i have opened that i'd be drinking mud that's why i don't use the can holder <laughs> just a stupid thing what <laughs> it didn't make any sense Oh, now, of course, if you have a tractor that's got a canopy on it, you know. Um, but even then, I've been in tractors that have canopies on them. They still get dirt in them. I mean, you know, dust can get in the smallest little crack. But anyway, I, I don't know. Should I give up on the fertilization? Because it doesn't seem to be doing me any good. Get this guy off the field. All right, you're out of the game, buddy. Off the field. So, and the funny part is, I just, I used to wonder because I'd hear, hear people do that all the time. You know, oh my God, your lawnmower's got a cup holder on it. And then I started thinking, I wonder how many people bought the lawnmower just because it had a damn cup holder on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I spent an extra $5,000 on that one because it's got a cup holder and this one over here didn't. What? <laughs> Make no sense. 
I'm going to sleep it off. What's the worst case scenario? I don't get a good yield. On a field that big, am I worried that much about the yield? What? Me give up on tangents? What were you saying? Did I miss something profound? I probably did. All right, Scorp, I apologize. I'm always off on a tangent. And you know what? I, I always blame the lag in the game, too. Because by the time... No, seriously. If I ask you a specific question and I wait for an answer, I'll be sitting here for five minutes waiting. And then finally YouTube will pop up you know, your response to my question. So that is a legitimate complaint. And... Uh, but... I do go off on tangents quite easily. I'm kind of like that dog in that movie. Squirrel! <laughs> I react to too many things. Sorry. You're going to buy an 8R and not think about it anymore? <laughs> Did I ruin your day, Dennis? <laughs> Up, Up is the movie. That's right, Jerry. Up, it was the movie Up. I, I kind of, I, I kind of um, sympathize with that old fart in that movie. Except for the fact I still have my wife. Drinking mud. <laughs> Cup holders legendary. <laughs> yeah. I'm still waiting for main, main map, crop select. Okay, main map, crop select, um, slide to field conditions, groat, okay, the growth section, soil composition, hot spots, okay, fertilize, it's not showing fertilizer, oh, there, wow, that was weird. Well, according to that, it's fully fertilized. Am I wrong? Is that is the dark part fully fertilized? Okay, Dennis is drinking mud. Can make one even for me. Um, is it pop time or did I miss it? You missed it, Jerry. I got. I got a I got a Mountain Dew here, but um, this is just this is just for Jerry. There you go, Jerry, and it, and it's sparkling, and uh, caffeine hits me like that. And did you know caffeine is bad for you? I I didn't know that. My doctor's been screaming at me about caffeine since I was thirty. Uh, and I know it is. I'm not supposed to drink it. And I don't really drink a lot, but I, I can't give up my Mountain Dew. I don't drink a lot, though. Jerry's, boy, that made Jerry's day. Jerry, here's for you, buddy. I can't tell you how many people used to ask me if I was sponsored by Mountain Dew. It is fully fertilized. Isn't that weird? So you can't count on whatever that is. Is that... Am I wrong? Is that thing in the bottom over here, the very bottom thing, is that those statistics... Is that from Giant or is that a mod? I think that's from Giant, isn't it? We will do I Redeem with John Deere, because why? Uh, you know what? I don't think I've got a John Deere. Is the, is the panic one, is she sitting in a John Deere? Uh, I, should, I should get a John Deere, uh, I should get a John Deere um, meme. Just for, just for fun. Logo's in the way, and it is in game stuff. So it's in game stuff, so you can't believe it. All right. 
And you know what? Technically, does it really affect the yield if you don't do a full fertilization? Does it really affect the yield that bad? Remember, Scorpion, remember, and, and Andy, too. Andy's been real quiet today. You feeling okay, Andy? Or is it beer day? Might be a beer day for Andy. Remember in the old days when we used to do science during the, uh, during the live streams? We used to test fertilizers and uh, we would do, we, we used to do science all the time. Okay, I'm going to take this field and I'm going to fertilize it once. And I'm going to take that side of the field and only fertilize it and fertilize it twice. And we'll do a harvest and see what the yield is. And uh, we used to do a lot of sciencey stuff. Yeah, there's no way to tell if that's a deer. Is there? Of course, I'm not a a connoisseur of John Deere. That might have been a deer. I was trying to think if I had. Um, a video that had a deer in it. What about the what about the uh, crazy one? Um, no brains. We should do no brains and see what kind of a tractor they're using. I have to I have to key out of the game to do it. Did that not work? There it goes. Is that a deer? With well, the first one, the sec third one, second one. Is that a deer? I can't tell. It's too small for me to see it. Huh. Dennis Levin? See you, Dennis. I hope I didn't upset you. Poor Dennis. Had him going. Now it's raining. We can't harvest during the rain. I'm going to sleep again. How's that field doing? Still not growing. All right. This 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 terrible. They're awful. Does it ever rain in Australia? Okay, Jerry, thanks. See, that's what we used to do the science for. We do, we wouldn't, it, what's that old saying? Trust, but verify. So, okay, we trust giant, but let's verify that they're actually doing what they say they were supposed to do. Uh, ready to harvest. Wow, that's a different, wow. Green, Green wheat, that's weird. This is the first time I've seen the uh, the crop textures on uh, the Australian map. Now, barley, barley looks like barley. Okay, the barley looks good, but wheat is green. Why? I didn't know that. What the hell? Why is wheat green? All right, here we go. All right, we're off like a herd of turtles. Hey, set my, um, set my light beacon going over my head here. Looks like a looks like a police car bar. It's a bar. Okay, it says this is ready for harvest. Is it right? Is it? Is it? Huh. Let's go. I'm going to start at the other end just because because of the wonderful things I do. It's off to see the wizard. 
If you turn on season, then you can do it, do all the science stuff. Yeah, is it worth it? And he says his cat's being needy, but he can still hear me. I bet if you turned your speakers off, you could probably still hear me. I'm pretty loud. I'm not as loud as Scorpion, though. Uh, looks like I got trees in the way. I'm going to have to move those trees. All right, let me see. If I can get... Is this supposed to be 170? No. 180. It's supposed to be 180. It's 270 if it's going... Uh, if it's going the other way. Let's see. If it's going west would be 270. Uh, this would be 180. So we're looking at 180. Let's pull it over a little bit. Try that again. I'm going to try to hire a worker and see how it works. So I'm looking at straight. I'm going to be going straight south. So it would be 180 degrees. And hire a worker. And Bob's your uncle. And we've got Windrow. That's good. So here we go. Dime Fox, how you doing? That's a cool name, Dime Fox. Oh, what the heck did I just hit? That tree? All right, stop. Stop. For some reason, when I read Dime Fox's name, I thought of a, uh, I thought of a phone booth. All right, set it back up at 180. And he's playing Vittle. I watched some videos last night of this little gal. She's Scottish. Are all Scottish like white? Oh, yeah. My God, this woman was so white. It, I had to wear sunglasses just to look at her face. And um, she's a young gal. And when she became an adult, when she got out of school, uh, she went to Japan for a job or something. I can't remember. Either college or a job or, or something. Some education. For some reason, she... She spent her whole adult, uh, her first uh, seven or eight years as an adult in Japan, and she's never. She was born in southern uh, Scotland, the south of Scotland, and uh, decided she wanted to come home and buy herself a van and travel her own country because she's not seen any of her own her own country as an adult. You know, when you're a child and you're in school, you go where your parents go. So if your parents never take a vacation anywhere, you never get to see anything. I know as a, as a young adult, until I was an adult and was able to dr drive anywhere I wanted, I never, I never left the Yakima Valley, hardly. I mean, I went to Seattle once or twice, but I never left the state of Washington. And so anyway, so her channel she started is all her uh, traveling her own country of Scotland and sightseeing and sharing it with the public and stuff. And so it's kind of interesting. Um, she's kind of a weird little thing, but uh, she started traveling while she was in Japan by you know buying a, a first a a little van and then a, a bus type of a rig and traveling all over Japan and so she's used to it and she had a, a web page or, or a YouTube page there while she was there and decided now that she came home uh, to start a new page a new YouTube page 
but it's kind of funny because she still adds Japanese stuff in the uh, in the in the uh, captioning and stuff because she still has a lot of people that she met in Japan that are interested in her Scottish traveling now. So she's kind of incorporated Japanese in with a little a little bit. So that, so that she can share some of the stuff to people that want to watch, you know, that don't speak English. It's pretty interesting, though. Um, I watch a couple of pages on people from Scotland, but, uh, but nobody that's doing this kind of thing. So I've started watching it just so I can uh, see the sights of, Scor of, Scor of Scotland. And last night, the video I watched... Of course, she's been doing this for about a year or so, so I, so I had to go back to the start. And last night, she went to some kind of a Highland Games, whatever that is, and there was a whole bunch of men in dresses running around, and they were throwing, like, telephone poles around like they're Superman. I didn't, I didn't get any of it. I don't understand. And one guy had, like, I don't know, it looked like a big frying pan or something that he was swinging around and throwing. And then there was a shot put. I did recognize that. There was a shot put. And um, anyway, it was pretty interesting watching that. I kept trying to watch them, though, to see if they had anything under their dresses. Oh, and the other part of it was, uh, was uh, Scottish dancing. They had uh, dancing competitions, and that was kind of fun to watch. I like the part where they're dancing on a bunch of swords. Now, they did have shoes on, so it wasn't any danger, but they, they danced on a bunch of swords. That was kind of cool. <sighs> dope Diva's back. Hey, Dope. I, I, what was I? I was calling him uh, Jordy. Oh, cool. Jordy, that's better than calling you dope. Anyway, um, where, where are you at? That, you know, that you, we'd love to have you over here. Um, you know, for, for everything you hear about America, if you're watching any kind of news in America, you need to stop. America's not like anything you see on the news. Do, do we have crime and stuff like that? Of course we do. Everybody does. But if you watch the news, you'd think we were the worst country in the world. And it could be further from the, you know, according to the news, everybody's walking around with a handgun or a, or a rifle or something. And there's majority of the people in America don't own a gun. Um, a lot of people do. But there's a lot of people that hunt. We we live in in an in a country there. Fifty percent is still uninhabited land. There's a lot of hunting, and you can't hunt unless you're going out with a stick and a rock. You got to have a gun to hunt. And so yes, there's a lot of Americans that own rifles and shotguns and stuff. But the way the news makes it look, it's everybody's packing heat. And they're just waiting for you to look cross-eyed at them before they plug you. I mean, like I say, anybody from another country that's watching uh, any kind of news, you got to stop because that's not you're not you're not learning anything. Uh, half of what you see is not believable anyway, especially if you're watching stuff like CNN or MSNBC. You can't believe anything they do. And the thing about CNN and MSNBC, their their uh, audience of people that watch their oh, channel God. is less than most YouTubers. Mo most YouTubers online have a bigger audience than they do. They're just out there because they're on cable. And overseas, their overseas uh, channels do more because people think that's America. And so they watch it. They watch CNN thinking that's America. In America, nobody watches CNN because they know that it's fake. I mean, 
half the stuff there, they're all political. It's They don't have any news news. And if they do have news news, it they only let you see what they want you to see. They don't normally tell you the whole story. Northeast of England. Yeah, you're up there with uh, with Craig. Craig lives up that way. De uh, um, Andy's from... Uh, uh, is it Devon? See, it used to be you could watch one channel and get a version of the news, and then you could watch a different channel and get a different version of the news, but you can't even do that anymore. Most of American news is, is done by one group, and they just share it. So you're getting, you're getting information from just one group of people, and... Uh, and that and that's all you're getting at least with the internet and anybody that looks at me straight in the eye and says I know that's true because it was on the intimate in on the internet then I'm gonna I'm gonna have the balls to look at you and say you're an idiot if you think that everything on the internet is real is true you know but that being said you can watch many different versions of let's talk the news you can you can watch different versions of it and make up your own mind and do a little research and you know make up your mind at least you get at least you can get that on the internet you can get different opinions but when you just strictly watch american news you're getting you're getting the news from one group of people and they send it out you know, on the Associated Press or however they get it, they send it out. And to prove that, there are talk shows that have taken, taken something that happens in the news and they take a clip from each news agency and then they'll put it all together and they're all literally saying word for word the same thing. Word for word. And uh, they, so they're, they're, they just sit there and wait until they get the newspaper come in. Okay, this is what we're supposed to say. And that's what they say. And whether it's the truth or not, doesn't matter. It's kind of like, it's kind of like clickbait on a YouTube page. How many thumbnails have you seen on, on anybody that you watch? Anybody. And let's say you're watching somebody that's a farmer. Okay? A real life farmer. And pretty down to earth fella. Right? And then one day you get a thumbnail of a video. We're quitting. And you think, what? They're quitting farming? What? You immediately go to their page to watch that video and you find out that uh, they had a couple chickens die and they decided they'd quit buying the red ones. Well, <laughs> isn't that clickbait? They know that when they put that we're quitting, you're going to think they're quitting farming. You, they know that. And they put it on there anyway. And then it has nothing to do with farming. They, they, they bought a bunch of red chickens and all the red chickens died. So we're not going to buy it. We're quit, quit buying red chickens. And that's, that's what the video is about. That's clickbait. And I hate it. I hate it. How many times have you seen clickbait that your favorite actor's dead? And then you go find out it has nothing to do with that at all. And he's still alive drinking martinis back in the back room.
Yeah, it's it's a way to make money. It's a way to get people to watch. Um, I've never done that. Half the time, I don't even put a title in. You know, half the time. That's probably why my page is dying. I can't get... I should start lying about everything. Naked pictures of... Naked pictures of females on my page. Get the, get people to thumb on them, and then, and then I'll show a picture of a female of a sow in the pen. <laughs> or... Or a milk cow. <laughs> they ain't got no clothes on. They're naked and they're female. I should do that. Maybe I can start getting clicks. What they don't realize is there's people out there like me that if they keep doing stuff like that, I'll just unsubscribe and they won't get my, you know... I could be a subscriber that watches their video every week if they're legitimate. But just like some of these people that have, uh, they're young people, and let's say they're building a cabin in the woods, and every thumbnail that they put out for every video has their wife in a bikini, you know, holding up a tool or something. And then, of course, you watch the video and she's and you never see the wife. That happens a lot. I hate stuff like that. Then there's people that actually do uh, put their wives in bikinis and stuff during their videos, and and I don't like that either. That's uh, well, it isn't right. That's not why I'm watching your video. I'm watching your video because I'm interested in you building the log cabin. Not that your wife's running around in a bikini. And so I unsubscribe and won't watch them again. So they lose subscribers by doing that, in my opinion. And if they don't, they should. Naked females show up on my farm. <laughs> naked, fe naked females show up on my farm along with, along with hippie squatters. And I end up in jail. News at news at, live at six. Uh oh, what was that? Oh, my. Uh, I, I, I hope you guys can still hear me. I'm gonna. This is a test. Can you still hear me? Because my software just quit running. That the software I use to re to uh, stream just quit running. My game's still running, but according to my software, the stream is off. It has stopped. So if you can still hear me, we can hear you. Okay. All right, because according to my software, the stream has ended, and it's it's frozen over there. Well, um, I, I've got 15 minutes to go, so uh, I'll just keep going. Um, okay, you may be wondering why I'm asking if you can still hear me. Uh, even though the software has frozen and the screen over there has frozen, I use a complete separate third-party program to do my chat. So the chat's still running. That's how I, that's how I know that you still can see me. So I'll just watch the chat. As long as you guys are responding to me, I'll know, I'll know that I'm still streaming. I have another question. And the question is, can you still see me? Because again, it's frozen on my screen. I'm frozen like on my screen. So I, I don't know if the camera's still running. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Christina says yes. Oh, okay, okay. So the camera's okay. And uh, the stream's okay. All right. Um, I don't know if you remember, some of you might, Andy probably does, Scorpion probably does. Uh, about a year ago, I was having this problem all the time. About every, about every other stream, 
my software would freeze up. And I never did find out what the problem was. And it hasn't done that for about a year. All right, that's weird. Oh, there it went. <clears throat> All right. Uh, checking my second PC over there and see if it was working, and it is. Take a drink of the dew just in case. Okay, I can do that. There, I even gave you goo goo eyes. So if you see goo goo eyes, let me know. Everything, everything is still Norman. Norman, that was my dad's name, Norman. Jerry says perfect. Yeah, my dad's name was Norman, and his middle name was Northrop. And our last name is St. John. And I told the story, you probably heard it. I even told it recently. So within the last couple of live streams, I've told the story that I didn't know my dad's real name until I was almost an adult. And because everybody... All my friends and everybody I knew called my dad Jack. And I had a, uh, my, my bro brother just older than me is named Jack. So I thought my brother was named after my dad. One of my brothers is. One of my younger brothers is named Norman and was named after dad. I didn't know that. <laughs> and that's when I asked a question of him. Uh, why I didn't have a middle name. And he said, you didn't think Rudolph was bad enough? You wanted a middle name too? And then I found out what his name was, Norman Northrup. And I thought, oh, no wonder. No wonder he's t touchy about middle names or no names in general. Not that Norman's a bad name. You just don't, it's, Norman's not a common name anymore. Uh, back in days past, a lot of people were named from the Bible. You know, like uh, Jezebel, uh, you know Mary. A lot of I I knew a lot of Marys when I was growing up, um, and um, Esther. I've, I've known a couple of Esthers, biblical names. Now those are female. Of course, you got Adam and James and Paul, and you know a lot of male names uh, from the Bible. But you don't see a lot of that anymore. Now you got Kawanda or Jezikel, or you got Carol with a Q, you know. Carol, how do you spell your name? Is it C A R O L? No, it's Q U. <laughs> what? Q U R A O L. What? You got to be making this stuff up. It can't be right. Some of the names that they give kids nowadays is like. Okay. Now, my grandson's name is Jagen. J-A-G-E-N. I'd never heard that name before. And when my daughter named him, I thought, what the? What? And I kept calling him Jagen and Joggin, and I couldn't remember what his name was. And he hates me to this day. Uh, I, he just turned 14, I think. And, you know, he... <laughs> He thinks I'm uh, he thinks I'm grumpy and nasty and mean. I'm I'm kidding, of course. Uh, he knows that I I am grumpy, but I'm not I'm not a mean grump. I grump around, and if somebody smiles at me, I smile back. I'm not a, I'm not a mean, you know, person. I am a little grumpy, and I'm a bitcher. Now, I'm not a mean bitcher either. When I bitch at something, I'm not angry. I don't angrily bitch at things. I bitch, I bitch with a smile on my face. It's a joke, you know, it's funny. Uh, so I call myself a recreational bitcher. You know, people say, God, you bitch a lot. And I say, I know, it's just so much fun. Um, man, if you can't bitch at things in life, what's the point of life? You should be able to bitch about stuff, right? Now, there's a difference between that being an ornery or a mean bitcher. That's just mean. I'm not mean. I just like to bitch. 
Well, what was it Lynn used to tell me? Lynn used to call me a whiner. You know, I, I, I'd call myself a bitcher, and she's, no, you're a whiner. And because uh, she, she'd always want, do you want some cheese to go with that wine? I miss Lynn. She comes back every once in a while. Oh, I'm sitting here waiting. I could be collecting straw. Let's go get the uh, quicker picker upper. I got to find a tractor I can use. All right, we got this tractor. Let's get it back to the farm so I don't, before I, before I drop this uh, spreader here. And let's uh, turn the GPS off. Don't need it. Dang, I could have been picking this straw up the whole damn time. Your dad's name is Norman too? Norman Leroy Burge? I was almost a fourth. Wow, how does... I, I know how that works. I, I shouldn't be saying that. Um, being a fourth, I've never... I was trying to think if I know somebody that was a third and a fourth. I don't think I do know somebody personally. I might, because there's a relative of mine named Junior. So maybe he was named after his dad. So um, they call him Junior. Maybe they just call him Junior because they're, they're from the South. But I decided I should probably go Continental. I should have made up my own middle name when I was young. It's too late now. I'm too damn old. 70 years old, too old to come up all of a sudden with a middle name. Who's going to listen to you for, for one reason? So I, I give up on a middle name. But I could change because my name is Rudolph. If I wanted to sound like I was continental, like if I'm from Europe or someplace. Because in Europe, uh, St. John is pronounced Sinjin. So Sinjin, and it's and it's uh, it can be either John or Jean, and there's a lot of Saint Jeans in uh, France and and um, Saint Johns in Ireland and and England and France, Saint John and Saint Jean, um, and they're pronounced Sinjin. So I could go by a Rudolph Sinjin, and be all continental if I made up a if I made up a middle name. I could be Rudolph Pierre Sinjin. I could be quite continental. And then they'd wonder what happened to my accent. What the hell happened to you? Did you move to the south or something? Well, south side of uh, south side of, of Washington. All right, we're straw picking now. Picking up straw. We're picking up straw. It's never too it's never too late to make a middle name. Well, you're probably right. I I, I live in a state. I lived. I grew up. Uh, was born in, in and raised in Washington State. And Washington has a unique thing on names. You don't you don't have to be named. You can be named anything you want. So, and I've explained this before, in Washington State, if your dad's name was John Smith and your mother's name was Cindy Jones, you would think that they would name, you know, your, 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 their child uh, Rudy Smith or Rudy Jones. Uh, doesn't work that way in Washington. You can name anything you want. So th they could be Smith and Jones and, and they could name me Roberts. You know, so I could be Rudy Roberts. Washington State doesn't care. They just want a name to put on the, on the birth certificate. And so you can put anything you want on there. Uh, now, when it comes to change your name, you still have to pay a fee because there's, uh, there's work involved. There's paperwork involved in changing a name. So you have to go into the county courthouse or wherever you go and pay a fee and leg legally change your name to whatever you want. So I could still do it, but I could also just pick a just pick a name. I was thinking about not just picking a name, just picking a just picking a letter. You know, like uh, I could be Rudy R. St. John, or something like. What would go with Rudy? 
not very much, except for Christmas. Red Noses goes with Rudy. Oh, God. Rudolph. Rudy O. I could go with Rudy O. St. John. Rudy S. St. John. Rudy S. Rudy S. That sounds kind of funny. I don't know what I would pick for a name or an initial. I'll tell you what I do now. When I have to sign my initials, I, I sign it RSJ. Those are my initials. So people would think my, my middle, middle name starts with an S. No. St. John is two words. S-T period space J-O-H-N. Now, because of computers, they usually don't use the period. So usually my name is split to S-T space J-O-H-N, two words, St. John. Now, that's not necessarily true either. My last name is weird with computers. And whenever anybody asks me, what's your last name? Because they're trying to look me up on a computer. And I say to them, is that the only way that you keep your records? Or do you use phone numbers or any other uh, or birth date or anything? And they'll look at me and they say, well, we could, um, we could go with, uh, uh, with birth date. That's in, the, that's in the, the database. And so I would give them that. And I would say the only reason I'm asking is because my last name is St. John. You can put it in as Saint, S-A-I-N-T, John, J-O-H-N. You could put it in as Saint, S-A-I-N-T, space, J-O-H-N. You could put it in as S-T space, J-O-H-N. You could put it in S-T no space, J-O-H-N. You could put it in S-T period space, J-O-H-N. You could put it in S-T P, uh, S-T no period space, J-O-H-N. So get my, you get my drift. People can put it in so many different ways and they can never find me. So I usually ask, how about if I give you my phone number? Have you got that in your records? And they say, yeah, and especially hospitals and things like that. They got all your information. As long as nothing has changed, I can just give them my phone number and it comes up. Oh, there you are. I was hiding. I'm trying to make funny faces because I can't see myself. So <laughs> I don't I don't know what's going on over there on the camera. I wonder if the guy's done uh harvesting over there. Where is he? I lost my combine. He's over there somewhere. Isn't he? Uh oh. Better go check. There he is. He thinks he's done. You're not done. You got to get back to work, buddy. All right, back at pickup. Pick him up. Here, here's the funny part. It's almost time for me to go, and I won't know whether I can go or not because I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> Although you said you could, but nobody's talking now. So uh, Jerry was the last guy to put a put a uh, a post up. And I don't know how long ago that was, because I remember talking about middle names quite a ways back. Can you see me? Can you hear me? I'm too far away, so I know you can't feel me. Christine says hi. Christine's, pay Christine's paying attention. Christina. Did I say Christine? I did. Christina. But anyway, I can hear you. 
Matt can hear me. All right, everybody. Um, I'm going to try to figure out what went wrong. I, You know I, what might be? It might be. I blame everything on Windows, right? So Windows, when you're using a computer, Windows collects a lot of crap and piles it up. So the, the longer you own a computer, the more your computer is is filled with junk that doesn't always go away. Even if you delete something, some part of it usually stays. So, <clears throat> um, so I blame a lot of stuff on, on Windows. Now, during a day, if you turn your computer on in the morning, even throughout the day, as you're doing stuff, your computer and Windows is collecting information and throwing it around and doing all kinds of junk. So, um, Normally, what I'll do right before the live stream is I'll shut my computer completely down and, and make sure that everything is closed and the computer is completely off. And then I start loading everything up again fresh. And then I start my... Um, what, Andy? What are you, what's Andy typing? <laughs> Andy, that's pretty funny. Anyway, time for me to go. Um, so anyway, I'm going to try, uh, next week or Thursday, I'll do what I normally do, which is shut everything down, start it over. So I get a fresh start on everything. See if it doesn't do this. Cause this is a pain having your software stop like that. Uh, anyway, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll see you on Thursday. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, take care of your families, enjoy life and, uh, play some games and I'll see you on Thursday. Ta-ta for now.